went to sleep and had a nightmare or a dream, depending on how you call it, or a prophecy. But nonetheless, I was uh, with a security guard friend from Ohio, along with um, two other friends that may have been from the Congo. And we were inside of a store and I was purchasing us some shirts because we had forgotten our shirts for whatever trip we was getting ready to do. One of the gentlemen from the Congo was, uh, once we reached the, from snaking around all of the people that was in the store, we made it up to the counter. And it was a young man of um, that was behind the counter and him and my friend from the Congo got into a verbal exchange and neither one of them wanted to back down. I tried to calm the situation from escalating and um, to no avail, it hit an extreme point. The gentleman that was behind the counter and uh, my friend from one of my friends from the Congo had decided that they wanted to have a face off. So he challenged the guy behind the glass to come out, and he did. And he turned the corner, and he had a uh, Smith and Wesson in his hand. My friend stepped in front of him, probably about. Uh, maybe six or seven feet away from him, but in, in a direct angle so that he would be the target. And um, I'm yelling out, and I'm praying, telling the young man, don't do it, don't do it. You know, uh, I'm praying, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. And uh, my heart is racing, pumping. I don't know what everybody else's heart. Adrenaline is up real high, but escalated to a point where praying immediately, please, young man, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. And uh, all of a sudden, you know, he lowered the gun and he walked back behind the counter. And I just jumped up a few minutes ago from awakening from that situation. So once again, God has prevailed.